1971, Crosby, Stills, Nash and Young were at their peak and could command gold records as soloists or a variety of other permutations of the original or something. Many viewed them as the closest thing America had ever reached in creating an older second generation Beatles. Wherever they played, part of the audience's psychological response contained elements of those old fantasies which is peculiar to teenage heroes. While other contemporaneous groups may claim similar musical excellence or stylistic diversity, they can never match the charisma or popularity of Crosby, Stills, Nash & Young. They were perfectly placed in the late 60s, early 70s, defining their time with a ready-made set of philosophies and new values that were liberally just bestowed upon their audiences. They brilliantly reflected the peace, music, and love ideals popularized by Woodstock promoters. While other groups exploited the hippie ideal, Crosby, Stills, Nash & Young had the courage to take those ideals seriously through both lifestyles and their idealistic and bittersweet compositions. A brittle edge was added to their political commentaries, both in interviews and on record. Now, by the late 1970s, that entire concept had lost its appeal to the punk-influenced music critics, who regarded the cortex romanticism as narcissism, their political idealism as naivete, and their technical perfection as elitist. It's a clear case of historical inevitability one set of values replacing another. But the values of Crosby, Stills, Nash & Young did not change over the times, and they were never slaves to so-called music critics just to maintain popularity. Well, obviously, they did something right, because here they are, 40 <coughs> years later, still making music both alone and together, and have still maintained a level of popularity such that when this set of Social Security recipients go out on yet another geriatric tour, <laughs> they still play the sellouts. <laughs> and the acid wig has not mellowed with age either. I actually had the chance to be at a Crosby, Stills & Nash concert in 2003, during which good old David Crosby, he's the, he was the best for this, in discussing the Patriot Act, that it should be given to Governor Arnold Schwarzenegger so the text could be read in its original German. <laughs> Stills, 
He has said that he wishes he could go back to the time when it was truly real for them, back before they got famous. Crosby? Well, his epitaph to the group is best summed up in a song lyrics he wrote in 1969. You probably recognize this one. If I had ever been here before, I would probably know just what to do. Don't you? If I had ever been here before, on another time around the wheel, I would probably know just how to deal with all the 